show world sort of Ripper John Ripper's first the headlines. Syrian President Bashar Assad has reaffirmed his readiness to enter into dialogue with the insurgents. One of the creators of the film The Innocence of Muslims could be behind bars. And Russia beats Macedonia in a 2013 European Cup qualifier. Those are the headlines now in news in full. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad reaffirmed the need for an internal Syrian dialogue during a meeting in Damascus with the UN and Arab League on the Lakhadar Brahim. He said that such a dialogue should be based on the expectations of all citizens. However, according to Assad, the success of the political settlement cannot be achieved without stopping the bloodshed. And pressure must be put on governments who are funding and training terrorists and then sending them to Syria. Subversive activities must be stopped, said the president. A victory in the U.S. presidential elections by Republican candidate Mitt Romney could lead to a resumption of the arms race. This opinion was expressed on Saturday by the vice premier of the Russian government, Arkady Dvorkovich. According to Mr. Dvorkovich, there may be a return to a time when most of the wealth benefits only a small group of people who will pay particular attention to the military-industrial complex. In any case, Mr. Dvorkovich said that Russia is prepared to work with any U.S. president. Recently, Mitt Romney had said that Russia is the geopolitical enemy number one of the United States. The U.S. has called in for questioning one of the reported creators of the controversial film Innocence of Muslims, one Nakula Basiri Nakula. The police claim that the questioning will not be about the film as they do not infringe on the right to freedom of speech. The authorities